today's episode of trying out different recipes and seeing how they turn out is samosas. Actually, I have made samosas a couple of times and I love it. Let's do it. So we are adding our flour, unga, a bowl, some salt, yeah, water, and then we mix. I actually love using countertops because they give me more service area to work with. After we're done, we let our dough sit for a while. And then we're going to divide our dough into small equal parts. We are adding some oil because we are going to be placing the other piece on top of this one. Uh, it's going to help with separation. It's like, sign me up. Here I come. <laughs> We then divide it into four equal parts. Mine are actually not equal. And this is supposed to give us about eight pieces. Mm -hmm. You see how they separate? Yeah. So add some flour and water. Star, this is going to uh, work as our glue. Create a cone like yeah just like that actually the reason why i know what to do in this situation is because i have i have made samosas a couple of times i know we're trying out different recipes probably new probably the ones i already know how to make but yeah so this um beef was already made it was in the fridge and that's what i'm using Do your best to seal the edges. I didn't do a good job with most of this. And that's, yeah, that's, that's what's up. You can actually... Um, freeze the extra sheets for use in future I just fried mine <laughs> a tip I was given for crunchy samosas don't let your oil get hot before adding your samosas to the pan cook in low heat um, it actually might take some time like 10 minutes or more but you have that crunchy feel yeah just like that yeah i'm here to learn thank you for watching subscribe <laughs>